Good morning. Okay, we're gonna do Taurus. We're gonna do Taurus. It's gonna be December 3rd through the 17th of 2019. All my little Tavidians, all my little bulls. Let me hear you say, hey. Ooh, Beyonce is coming through for you guys. So, Taurus. Many, but I'll take one of them. You got the Queen of Cups, all about your intuition. That's <clears throat> Cancer. You got the Ace of Swords, Intellect. Except you don't look like <laughs> you want to conversate with anyone right now. You got the Two of Swords, that makes more sense. A little bit of confusion. Mia, you want to make me a coffee? No, you just. I couldn't talk. Not really. Okay. What so, do you want? in the top drawer, I have cappuccino. Do I need to make it? No, it's alright. Okay. So, we have the Seven of Pence and the Ace of Pence. I believe it was Leo just had that in the same exact spot. And they had five of cups too. So they had some regret. Okay. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is read your energy. But remember this can be vice versa. Um, I see judgment. Someone might want a second chance. Um, and then I'm going to read on the surrounding <clears throat> energies as well. So Taurus, Queen of Cups. So it looks like my Tauruses are in the um, Cancer energy. Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Um, I don't know if a conversation comes in or something's just like confusing you a little bit. Um, where is the progress? Is there no progress? Do I move forward? Do I not? Is this worth taking this particular job? If it's a job, tell me about the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups for Taurus, please. I'm ex I was excited to do yours, so there's there's going to be some type of something here. There's going to be some type of something. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Okay, so we got the Eight of Cups reversed. Huh. Somebody's either walking back to you or you're walking back to someone. Mm -hmm. There's something going down there. Thinking about walking away. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You walked away, or you're thinking about walking away from a situation. I don't know if somebody's about to walk back in your life and you're like, nope. Keep it moving. Got the Eight of Pence right here. I don't know if it has to do with work or not. Or a commitment. Looks like someone's going to walk back into your life. And talk to you about something. You're all up in your feelings. And you're going to question whether or not it's the right move. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. That's what it looks like right now. Taurus, please. Ace of Swords. See how sticky that deck got? I had to wake it back up. Ace of Swords, please. The moon reverse. Something's going to be revealed to you. I don't think it's going to make you too happy. Something might have already been revealed. It either has to do with work or some type of commitment. And it's definitely it's you guys. So let's see what this reveal is. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Cancer rules the moon. Oh, the moon rules cancer. Some type of transformation and new start. Could even be a job opportunity. I 
I don't know if it's going to be like the whole rise of the phoenix or not. To me, it's like you guys don't want to move forward. It's like avoiding. Avoiding communication with someone you like. This person's not even taking action right now. Could even be a Leo. Aries. It could be any sign. Um, four cups just flipped. And that's usually an offer coming back around. Wow. See, your hats just flipped too. The magician. Tell me about the seven of pence. No, that's not the seven, is it? Yeah, it is. You might want to watch Leo only because, um, seven of pence with the seven of pence with the world. Because they had all those sevens and now you got two sevens. They had all those sevens next to the ace of pence. But, um,. It might be international work or something that you invested a lot of time in. Someone might want a new stat and you're like, it's, it's done, it's over. I'm going to get a message for somebody. Tell me about the Ace of Pence. <clears throat> if it's regarding work, it's going to be international. Queen of Wands with the Four of Cups reversed again at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> yeah, you're staying determined. You're moving forward. You're not looking at what went down. You're pushing through. I think this is regarding work for some of you guys, only because these pence are here and the page of pence is here. Um, others of you, it's it's love. Looks like someone's going to walk back into your direction. And I don't know what you're going to do. Someone's going to want a new stat. They're going to want to invest time. Well, this is travel. Someone might want to go on a vacation, offer a vacation. I don't know what you're going to do, though. It's like you're smart enough. Use your intuition here with this new stat. And I meant to mention that, actually, because... In the Leo read, I, I hate to mention Leo, but there might be some information in there for you because um, in the Leo read, they started off with the high priestess. And I read it as it being someone, but at the end of the day, it's really about their intuition too. Queen of Wands is very intuitive. And I only say that because Leo had the same exact card with the sevens. Okay, so there might be some type of link. But... Or you just have a strong Leo placement in your own chart. Or you could be dealing with the Leo for all I know. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. So use your intuition with this one. Let's go to any Queen of Wands, please. You're going to lay the weight down. I, I just don't, it's either the weight from the past or the weight from whatever at one point you were carrying that you're no longer carrying. Um, sorry about this time once. Because you're not really carrying pain anymore. Three of Swords that popped out is reversed. Could be the end of someone's ego, if not yours. This looks like, holy shit. You could be dealing with cancer. You might want to watch cancer, too. Um, I know it's crazy. You're like, I'm Taurus. But I'm telling you, like, cancer was in Leo's reach strong. And 
Leo got the blessing card for the Ganesha and so did in Cancer and I didn't pick up on that until afterwards and I realized there was blessings in, written in two of them. So, or it's you and your home, your home-like environment with the Cancer, right? Rules the home, the moon, feelings. Um, but right now, this is you guys are in cancer energy. It's the it's the energy that's coming out from my Tauruses. So it's extremely positive. Because that's reconciliation with new starts. So I'd like to know who you're dealing with. <laughs> because I did fire in in air and water already. Um, and it's not really given me maybe a Scorpio, um, maybe a Sag. What came out? What was shown? It was the, it was the Leo. What major I kind of, I can't remember. I think it was Leo and Cancer, the chariot I saw. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting because it's not really giving you any particular anything all I know is that my Sagittarius are in cancer energy and within your own energy but you you're really in the you're really taking on the propensity of cancer in the next two weeks so something with your home life is being affected whether it's work love <clears throat> Taurus I just looked down and it said 1144 and I could have sworn Leo had the same thing <laughs> all right O M G. I'm telling you, go watch Cancer and Leo. Did I just? Did I just like? <laughs> oh man, I just O M G. You guys, too funny. All right, so listen, you would, Lucy, lay down. You would divinely protect the Ganesha. Ask you consider exactly what you want at this time. You have to go after your desire. Okay. Um. Something will transpire effortlessly. They're bestowing blessings and good lucks and new prospects, new prosperity to be very clear with your intentions at this time. Once you've identified your desire, Ganesha is going to clear all your obstacles and your blessings. At this period, remember, it will not last forever, so be sure to take advantage of it. Act when the opportunity arises. Resolve it with triumph. Ganesha teaches you that blessings are continuous. The realization of blessings are not immediate or apparent all the time, but they're here. Trust that the blessings are coming and you're going to be showered. This is what's going on in your life right now. At this moment, it's a, it's external and beyond your control. True happiness and blessings lie within you and your heart and soul. Okay, so it is, it's coming. It's coming back around. Reconciliations, blessings. Uh, you're, you're either dealing with a Cancer or a Leo, but that's that's how they're coming in, okay? It could be an Aries, it could be an Aquarius, but it could be a Pisces, I'm just saying. How they're coming at you is Taurus energy, Leo energy, and Cancer energy. And those are good energies. Look at that. So this is the other energy, okay? So the other energy is in the Two of Cups. Thinking about the connection. I want to say Leo had the same thing, and I couldn't pick up on it, but you're definitely thinking about it. Queen of Pents. Here's my Taurus. So someone's thinking about you. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> Does that make you feel better? Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. So you must be going through something. Other energy, please. Other energy. Well, the other energy is definitely thinking about you. Well, this is vice versa, but... Seven of Wands. Eight of Pence. 
They're definitely ready to stand guard and fight off any, any, any energies that gets in the way of this connection. Somebody wants a commitment. Another energy could be focused on work too. Getting rid of things in their lives that no longer serve them. Okay, because they're going to come in and, and, and fight. They're not going to give up. Or they're not giving up in their current situation. So if you guys are in a relationship, it's getting better. If you're not, this person's not going to give up on you. Okay. Um, anything else regarding the external energy? <clears throat> this person's watching you. They're watching you. <laughs> They're watching you. Not in a creepy way, though. All right, you could be dealing with an Aries, but this is somebody who's ready to take action. Okay, they got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. You know, some type of fire energy is expiring them, <clears throat> inspiring them to take action and, and go in a new direction. So it's it's beautiful energy. So congratulations, things are gonna come together for you in the next couple weeks. Love you guys. Bye.